In this series, I have challenged myself as a non-gamer to beat Minecraft. We'll go exploring, cave diving and mining. And we'll probably die a bunch of times. But that's okay. Because this is From Flop to Top. It has been a minute, but I'm back, babes. And here's a semi-messy recap of what you missed. So remember this lovely snow escape home where we started settling in? Well, I scrapped it. I started a new world because after losing footage and losing a treasure map I found in this shipwreck, I just decided to give up on this world. Like, I have no hope. I didn't even find iron yet. And yeah, that's right. I'm a quitter. So, new world, new name. Um, yes, I'm stupid, but let's not talk about it, okay? <laughs> new world, new me, right? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still the same dumb bitch, but I do have a new PC, so I expect some high quality content. <laughs> I mean, obviously, things went well in this new world for me. <clears throat> I was smarter than ever. <clears throat> in future. But how did I even get here? Here's what you missed so far. I found my very first Lush Cave! Oh my god! What is that? Diamonds, baby! My first diamonds in my survival world, but also the only ones for a long time to come. But that's okay! We all gotta start somewhere. <laughs> Trust me, my skills have greatly improved from my first world. <laughs> it does not look like it, but they have. Then I finished decorating my house. I also got a teleporting dog. Oh, look at him. He was not named and uh, he will forever be nameless. I'll just call him Doggo. Look at him. Good boy. Yes, Doggo. <laughs> Cute. Oh, <laughs> what? 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 What is? What is that? What? Uh, yeah. Look, exodotals. <laughs> totally did not um, cheat because there were too many zombies in the lush cave. <laughs> I would never do that. But look, exodotals. <laughs> I wish I found a blue one, but I know they're extremely rare. But maybe one day. I'll go out and try to find one. <laughs> I have white, yellow, and brown, and pink. And I like the pink ones the most. For obvious reason. Exodotal <laughs> <sighs> Oasis. Beautiful. Next up, I built a lighthouse. I did not watch any tutorials or anything for this and I'm no architect so this was definitely a challenge for me, um, mostly because I don't know how to build a circle, <laughs> still don't, but um, I made it work somehow and I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. Wow, it definitely took a lot of m more wool. A lot of more wool. It took a lot of wool. <laughs> well, um, as you can obviously tell, this is my first time building stuff in survival. So I just decided to stay safe. 
Oh, what's the lighters for? I'm so glad you asked. Well, while I was exploring and trying to fill in my map, I actually discovered a village. Yes, look at it. Slay. I obviously had to raid it. Um, I also did save it from some mobs that were randomly running around during the day. I don't think I left that footage in though and <laughs> I decided to um, compensate myself for being a hero by stealing their diamonds and their obsidian as any good hero does. And would you look at that, I found a second village. So naturally the dots were connecting in my mind because my house is over there. And then village number one, village number two, and what if I built a bridge connecting them all? That's the plan. So let's go. Bridge building time. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> took a while, took a while, but, um, you know, I got there, <laughs> I got there, um, it took a really, really long time to build this bridge, um, it was a lot longer than I expected it to be, but, um, <laughs> I, I did great. Well, it took a really long time and with my slow and steady approach, I sure didn't win any race. But I did finish my dirt bridge eventually. And as you can see, the lighthouse serves as a sort of main station to connect everything. Yay. <clears throat> yeah, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, let's ignore that. With the bridge finished, we have a new problem and that would be the rails because I need 488 rails, 6 iron ingots and 1 stick for each rail to be constructed which would mean that I would need 2928 iron ingots and 488 sticks. Well with barely any iron, just like me, um, the road was not getting railed anytime soon. Iron farm time! Uh, for that, I needed to go into the nether. <laughs> it was my first time doing that in survival mode and um, it, I mean it obviously went great. I feel like my track record so far should allude to everything going perfectly at the first try and me just being a freaking pro at everything I do. Okay, let's go. I don't know why, but I'm really scared of the nether. I never spend time over there. For good reason, because I feel like everything's just trying to kill you over there. Not like it's any different in the overworld, but <laughs> there's lava. That's the big difference. Just my luck that the portal... Bruh. ...is right there on the edge of a cliff. But I just quickly got what I needed, which was warped wood, and I just skedaddled out of there. I was like, okay, thanks, bye. I'm gone, never coming back, thank you. And still, it was such a pain building this iron farm. It, oh my god, you will not believe the amount of time and effort this took. <sighs> no, I'm definitely not a farm builder. That's what I learned um, <laughs> during this trial. <laughs> but um, I, I did complete it at some point because I had to relocate it. So that was um, fun too. And once I was finally done, which took forever might I add once more 
the next struggle began. <laughs> uh, the clip of the day, are you ready? <laughs> For context, I died and my loot is on the floor. And I'm gonna go get it. But the next struggle began, which was moving the villagers. <sighs> no, no, because why is moving villagers so difficult? Why? Why? This actually made me stop playing for weeks. I just could not handle it anymore. I was at my limit. You have no idea how many hours, literal hours of footage I have of me trying to move just two villagers. They kept dying. Oh my god. Mm -mm. Let me not get worked up again. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. Like, we're still in the village. We're still in the village, and I'm pretty sure I sped up all this footage, like, times eight. Honestly, moving villagers was the freaking bane of my existence and I feel like I need financial compensation. Cause nah, -uh. this ain't it. Also, once I realized how impossible it would be to move over, I think 12 villagers that I would need for the iron farm, I decided to build a villager farm. It's already done here. Um, that was relatively easy to build. So I was looking forward to it. Just like the 1.20 update! Woo! Yay. <laughs> Not that the update helped at all with my villager problem, um, but I did only start playing again <laughs> once the update came. <laughs> That's how long uh, the villagers kept me away. It was quite some time. They were a pain, so don't, don't blame me. <laughs> It's them. It's their fault. I don't take responsibility for their actions. Yay, I did it! Woo! Oh my god, pats on the back, pats on the back, except it didn't work. Still to this day, it doesn't work. So, building the iron farm twice, the villager farm and four mental breakdowns while transporting the villagers were all a complete waste of time and energy! <laughs> I sure hope my next endeavors go better, fingers crossed, and see you there. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe if you liked the video. Bye!